Hey everybody, and it's time for my newest series, Westward. That's right, from tutorial to end, we'll be going through the Wild West, full of gold, bandits, danger, and stereotypes. Yes, stereotypes. Let's begin with the tutorial. This is a welcoming, this is just a test, mainly the tutorial. I won't include in the playlist unless you want me to. I will make the playlist as we go, by the way. And so he's talking about how he wants to be our guide. This explains a very fine point that people who wish to talk to you, you can respond to by simply clicking on the bubble above their heads. And he's talking about how glad he is to see us. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip a lot of this. Um, okay, to move. All you do is you have your units highlighted or clicked or whatever, and then you drag over to where you want them to move. It's a little, it's a little inefficient, but it's different, which is a good change. Okay, next, we have to move up to meet the deputies. Deputies are one of three military units in the game. There's the sheriff, the deputy, and then the gunslingers. We'll talk more about those as we go, though. Now, the mini-map can be accessed by clicking this here. It shows you the population, how many are of each type of person you have. From top left to right, moving down the columns, we have uncivilized males, uncivilized females, civilized males, civilized females, prospectors, covered wagons, sheriffs, deputies, gunslingers, and mayors. Now let's talk to the sheriff, Orville Church. The, another cool thing about this game is it has a name generator for your people. You can get some pretty interesting ones. The tutorial teacher is just telling us about how to move in groups. Simply by clicking, by holding down your mouse, simple drag select, and move as usual. Let's move up to this chubby little person over here who looks to be the mayor. And he's whining about what the bandits did to his bank. Speaking of bandits, there they are. All right, let's get him. I'll be quiet for the combat. And just so you know, combat is the same as moving. Wow. They put up a fight, didn't they? And yeah, he's celebrating. Now we get to talk to the mayor again. And he's talking about how we need to fix the town. Now that they've moved off, he's giving us a very good point. Fighting bad guys is one thing, but building and maintaining a town with solid folk is another. That is very true. After this, it actually, where you would expect a, an evaluation menu, they give you this joke. Poker style, highest population, band is defeated, cows punched, saloon bar fight rank, letters written, outhouses plugged, old arrowheads found, days made. Cactus stews, sung, sung badly, cow pies stepped in, cattle prodded, doggies get along, Wild West nickname. Absolutely nothing we needed to know. And you know what, we got plenty of time, let's move on to tutorial two. Where we'll learn how to control settlers. But first we must talk to Moneybags over here. And he's talking about, yeah... Now to pick up piles of resources, you just move on to them. It's the same as combat. It all uses the same system. We found 50 gold. And he's talking about how happy he is to see the gold. So now we got to follow a trail of gold that somehow appeared while we were turned around, I guess. Don't, please, don't question the logic in this game. It, it doesn't work. But it's still fun. Okay, so now we got to talk to this guy again, and now that we've gotten most of the gold back, he's talking about the second resource, which is wood, or lumber, call it whatever you will. Um, we're just going to steal them from this lumber camp here. I don't... nobody looks home, so I guess... I guess what they're trying to teach is that... well, n no, I'm not getting into that. <laughs> okay, so we now have the resources we need to repair the bank. 
to repair banks, or any building for that matter, you just drag it on. That's how you do pretty much everything in this game. So, we'll just wait for him to... Oh, and that's another thing about this game, the AI isn't too bright. But, I must say, the game, it is fun, and it's pretty easy to find for free, too. So, yeah. This is the next Let's Play. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or suggestions on how to improve my, on how I should improve things, um, please let me know. And so yeah, while they're doing this, and we're just gonna kind of go into uh, neutral while I uh, just let you know a few things that have been going on. Uh, as I've been telling many people who've been requesting more videos. Uh, I've had a real medical trouble lately, but I'm getting to the point now where it's I'm just waiting for various checkups and stuff like that. So I'll make some videos for you guys. Now back in here, we've got the prospector, the also known as blatant stereotype number one. So let's go visit blatant stereotype, shall we? Take I mean seriously, take a look at this guy. <laughs> I I just it speaks for itself it really does oh and uh, also another thing if you keep your unit selected they will offer random quotes for you so let's talk to this guy and why a prospector's working in a lumber mill again logic please don't question it we gotta find this guy a gold vein What's really weird is he's asking us to find a gold vein that he knows where it is. Again, please try not to question anything. <laughs> we'll get through this logical mess together, trust me. Here's the gold vein. Now, to build a lumber camp, or any building for that matter, you click on this saw and hammer, and we will build the mining camp. So, you'll have to do this with a worker, or wait, Yes, you'll need to have a civilian selected to do this. But, uh, yeah, that's not a problem. So, we'll build this up, and you can see it houses and employs people. I'll get into that next time, because we are approaching our top mark here. So I will, leave, so I will head out and work on the next video for you guys. This has been RTS Dynasty. Thanks for watching.